Hey everybody, it's Craig with Clipscribe. Today I want to talk to you about getting better quality video. What I do to get better quality video, specifically on the input or the camera level. Now, uh, lighting is really, really important, and I can't overstate that because this is one thing that is probably ignored the most. Audio is really, really important, and I would, I would tend to say that those two are more important than the camera that you use. You can usually get a lot more out of your camera by just having good quality lighting and audio. But if you're already doing that and you want to take it to the next level, then this is what the next level is, in my opinion. You know, you start with a webcam, then maybe you move up to higher quality webcam, then maybe you move up to, to like a small digital camera. The, the DSLR is going to be like, uh, unless you go for like a really high grade video camera, this is going to be your next step. And in a lot of cases, this is really where it's going to end because you're really not going to need to go any farther than this. The reason why these cameras are really great, especially for these types of videos, is because you don't need zoom. A traditional uh, professional or prosumer video camera, uh, they're made for run and gun type of video where you're zooming in, you're zooming out, you're having to get shots in all kinds of sorts of different environments and places. Unlike a photo camera where, you know, you're stopping, you're shooting, you're stopping, you're shooting. So the reason why a, what would traditionally be a photo camera, now a video camera as well, is great for this is because you're not doing all that. It's generally just going to be one fixed shot, which means you can use fixed lenses, lenses that don't require zooming on them or automatic zooming. And most of these, many of it, if, if not many of these now, come with autofocus on them. So while you don't have the auto zoom, you do have the autofocus, uh, which is they didn't used to really come that way for video specifically. And so they will automatically focus. So this is going to be probably your final step on the way to getting really good quality video. Now, what makes video really good quality? It's clear uh, you you have some depth of field. As you can see, the items behind me are set, set apart from me. They are a little bit more blurrier. And so much of that really depends on the lens. Uh, the lens is really going to be important. So that's one of the main reasons these bring such a, a better uh, look to them is because of the lenses. The camera is one thing, but the lenses really take it to the next level. And they give you the ability to pick the lens that works great for your situation, your area. You can pick a wide angle lens if you don't have a lot of room. You can pick a, a, a longer angle lens if you do have some space. Uh, the lens I'm using, I think, is a 24 millimeter, pretty wide lens. This one is, what is this? This is a 40 millimeter lens. Um, and so if I use that, I'd probably be cropped, you know, somewhere right around here. So that is the benefit. But the question is, how do you get that video into your computer? So you have a few options. You can record straight into your camera. So you can have a memory card, you can record into your camera, and then you need to take that out and put it into your computer. So that's one way to do it. Um, I've done it that way. It's not my favorite way because it, it's not the quickest way. So what I want to talk about today is this little um, Elgato cam link and items like it. I use two of these, actually. I use one for my camera and I use one for my laptop. Now, these have to go into, I think it's a USB 3 port. Um, it might be a USB-C port. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it is something that you're gonna, going to need to check out. And you have to have a reasonably powerful computer um, to use these. So if you have an older model, you know, PC or Mac, you might have trouble with it because it can handle 4K video. So what I do with this is I, uh, these connect to your computer using an HDMI cable. I personally have a really long HDMI cable that goes from my camera right there. It goes all around my little studio here and up under my computer and into this. And then this goes into my computer. And then for my laptop, I have a shorter HDMI cable and an adapter. I set my laptop right here when I'm using it. You can't see it, but it's usually right here. 
and I use this cam link and it goes into my computer. Now for recording, I've talked about OBS software before. It's a free software. It's, it's typically used for streaming, but also can be used for recording. So the great thing about that is, is that I can switch uh, views on the fly. Now I don't actually have my laptop installed right now, but if I did, I could switch. I have some foot pedals and I could switch back and forth from my laptop to my face. So makes it very, very, very easy and really takes off some of that after um, video editing that you would normally do, that post processing you would normally need to do. I don't need to do a lot of that because I can just switch from my laptop to, to my face on the fly using OBS and using those two items, my camera and my laptop, coming into my uh, my computer using this Elgato cam link, which again, I highly recommend. Um, I think these are 70 to $100 or something like that. They're, they're very affordable. They have other, Elgato has other versions as well. And Elgato has a lot of other cool stuff. They have some switches so you can easily switch back and forth between screens. It would work great with something like OBS. They have, um, they have a lot of really cool stuff, some lighting and everything. They have some microphones. So I would check out Elgato because they really have kind of built their business around streaming and around creating video content uh, like this. So I just wanted to mention that this is one of the products that I use and I endorse it. And I'm, you know, this isn't like a paid endorsement or anything, but I've really, really liked it. And, uh, and it's been really helpful for me to get really what I think is really good quality video. Maybe it's not the best ever, but I'm super happy with it. And hopefully it, it can help you do the same as well. So let me know what questions you have in the comments. Uh, if you need help uh, creating video content and putting it out there for multiple uh, platforms and you want to add automated subtitles and, autom and headlines and all that stuff, check out Clipscribe.com because Clipscribe can definitely help you with that. But let me know what questions or comments you have, and I would love to help you out with any of those. Like, follow, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And once again, this is Craig, and I look forward to seeing you on another video.